Hello, everyone. I apologize. It is actually about 11.44. Apologize for that. Uh, it's 11.44 right now. I uh, came down with something last night, so I've been battling sore throat, etc. But I wanted to get on here. I wanted to do my reading summary of the day, and uh, today I'm, do I'm reading How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And the, the, uh, the takeaway from the chapter yesterday was don't criticize, complain, or condemn. So don't criticize, complain, or condemn. And today he's talking about, you know, what uh, the greatest desires or the greatest needs of people. And while they listed like food, shelter, uh, camaraderie, companionship, etc., the desire to feel important was listed as one of the chief needs of all people. So the desire to feel important. And when I, you know, think think back in what you do, like why do you do what you do? Is it to feel important? I guess deep down, you know, with the UFC or reality TV, yeah, I mean, I kind of, I guess, like the feelings, <clears throat> you know, being deemed kind of important. So that got me thinking, you know, that got me thinking about it. And, and it also talks about, in the book, he says that if you tell me how you get your desire to feel important, then I'll tell you what type of person you are. So he, he talked about a couple examples of, um, you know, someone like Mother Teresa who gets her feeling of importance by helping the less fortunate. He named a couple other people who give their money uh, to big organizations to help underprivileged people. But then he also mentioned someone like John Dillinger or Al Capone, like people who get their feeling of importance by obviously doing bad things. So. You know, just take a minute to think, where do you get your feeling of importance? And then a really good example that he used today, uh, this book is called How to Win Friends and Influence People. And one of the really neat things that he talked about was, <clears throat> you know, your relationship with people and how to get them to do things that you want them to get. Most of us, as I said a couple mornings ago, most of us are just like, you know, like, I want you to do this, you're going to do this with my daughter or anyone who has kids or students. If you're a teacher, normally it's resistance met with resistance, and that does nothing. Um, so he, he talked about an example of Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab was the first person, first American businessman to be paid a million dollars a year. And a cool little note here is the fact that there were no taxes at that time. So if you made a million dollars, you made a million dollars. And the a million dollars, you break it down, they said it was over $3,000 a day. So $3,000 a day today, a million dollars, that's a stinking lot of money. But he was asked, um, Andrew Carnegie, who paid him the million dollars, who was the boss, um, he was asked why he pays him that million dollars. Was it because he knew more than anyone else? Was it because he was a better worker than anyone else? And Charles Schwab said, absolutely not. Charles Schwab said, I was paid this salary largely because of my ability to deal with people. That's it. His ability to deal with people. And that's what makes him worthy of a million dollars back in the day. The ability to deal with people. And I remember hearing an anecdote not too long ago where a young kid went to an office. He was just working in the office. And he was observing everything. And, and he noticed the guy who got paid the most money was hardly there. He, he noticed that guy was not in the office. That guy was not doing his work. And so little by little, he would ask around, ask around. And he would say like, you know, how is so-and-so make the most money when he's hardly here ever? And they said, well, he has the personal relationships. He has the personal relationships. There you go, people. Obviously, you gotta study, you gotta learn the facts, but learn how to deal with people. I'm in the same boat, don't worry. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is day number five, I believe. And I'll be coming back hopefully tomorrow morning. Not at 11.48 tomorrow morning, uh, tomorrow afternoon, but hopefully in the morning if I feel better. I want to remind you all, please, if you haven't, um, check out the podcast, The Fighter's Mindset. And my goal, you know, I think I have about 150, maybe 200 views with these videos. I would love to get 1,000, 2,000 by the end of this 30 days. So if you could, if you enjoy it, if you appreciate it, just hit share, retweet, repost, whatever it is, Spaniard definitely appreciates it. Have a great one.